The initial question we always get, why do they come here to Pier 39 over everywhere else they could have been? They like the bay in general um, as a place to come because it's a nice rest stop for them as they migrate up and down the coast. So we only get males at this location. The females typically hang out in Southern California. The males will migrate down at the beginning of summer for mating season. It's gonna take them a couple weeks to get down there. And then at the end of summer, the males will leave and will travel further back up north to places like this because there's gonna be a lot more food. They all used to haul out in the hundreds on these large boat docks. So they started to break down and even to sink into the water. You can kind of see them going down in the photos here. Now, once they had all the floating platforms installed, they eventually ended up taking out the boat dock. And this was when this area was officially decided to be a sanctuary just for these marine mammals, the sea lions to come to. The Sea Lion Center is actually fairly new, so it was only established in 2014, and it's gone through lots of changes over those three years to really maximize the space for educational use for the public. What we're hoping to accomplish is mostly educational. A lot of people come to San Francisco and they've heard of this tourist attraction with the sea lions on the pier, but they don't know anything about the animals or why they come here. So the purpose of the center is really to educate everyone about the California sea lions and what they can do to actually help the sea lions thrive for future generations. So essentially by uh, sleeping next to each other, lying on top of each other, they're sharing warmth. Every time guests walk in, they immediately call them seals. And I always initially correct them and say, actually, these are sea lions. I bet you guys didn't realize that seals and sea lions are actually different animals. And the first initial way you're going to tell that it's a sea lion is because it's walking on all four flippers, that they have a lot of muscle in and they're very strong. So they can use them to actually propel themselves out of the water onto docks. Now the difference for seals is you're typically not going to see them on platforms, you're going to see them on beaches. And this is because they have really short front flippers compared to the sea lions. So they can't actually jump out of the water the way sea lions can, and they don't have as much mobility. And then their behavior is also going to be very different, that's another key aspect. So the sea lions are much more social than seals are. You're going to hear them barking, you're going to see them jumping on each other, making a lot of noise. Whereas if you see populations of seals, they're typically going to all be laying on the same beach, but they're not going to be touching, they're not going to be interacting, and they're not going to be making any noise. I tell people, they come here and they're always like, these guys are hilarious. And I'm like, yeah, that's because they're sea lions. If we had seals out here, you guys wouldn't be nearly as entertained. Thank <laughs> you.